Baba, Manto Vetabelate. This is everybody's day. This is everybody's day. Because the drama minister, like every other minister, must understand that he ministers primarily before the audience of one, and that audience is God. However, when he has fulfilled ministry before the audience of one, he is equipped with a mandate to bring forth the byproduct of his ministry to God to men. Are you with me? And so if we do not sufficiently apprehend what is God's measurement for ministry in a season, within the context of this evening, you can be acting what gladdens the heart, but what misses the mark of God. And as long as it misses the mark of God, it means that your definition for impact will only be captured within the framework of time. It will not count in eternity. So it will not attract the rewards that are heavenly. That's one of the burdens of ministry. It's to journey far away from what men want into the heart of the Father. Because a minister is a servant. It means that what you bring forth is not designed to be sourced in you. Amen. Why did I go this way? Because I believe that one of my assignments is to function after this sort. And somebody may be wondering, why are we discussing refiner's fire? How are we, why are we trusting God to press into this subject? And um, we're speaking of times and seasons. It's because ministry is designed to be... I'm looking for an engineering word. It's the word malleable. Something that is, can you help me Jesus? Something that can yield under stress. Are you with me? Let me use a more common word. Ministry is supposed to be elastic. Not when it is acted upon by natural forces, but when it is acted upon by a divine force. And I, I say this with reference to emphasis. That if your work with Jesus has been robust in different seasons of your life, the Holy Ghost brings different emphasis. So that a day comes when his emphasis, like this day in God, is purification. Another day comes and it is empowerment by the same spirit. Another day it is enlargement. Another day it could be prosperity. Are you with me? And the minister is supposed to shape ministry around the present revelational emphasis of the spirit. So that when you find what God is emphasizing, your script will not be drawn from what will pass the Netflix test. It will be drawn from what can pass the test of God's present revelational emphasis. That's what makes you relevant to what God is doing. So, our first labor as ministers, and the thing is even looking like a minister's conference. Anyway, just stay with me. Um, our first labor as ministers is to join into that emphasis. And I bet with you, it's not within the realms of men. Because except a man has gone that far into the heart of God, the emphasis of the spirit may not show up in our day-to-day -day talk. May God gift you friends who operate within the emphasis of the spirit. I have a few of them. That every time I bring up a subject with my friends, I don't look like a stranger. Because all of them have been to where I've been to. It may be new to me. The best one of them could say, Oh, that was what the Holy Ghost began to say two weeks ago. Some may say, Okay, I'll be hearing something like that. But it shows that all of us arrive in the same location. Now, this is my submission. My submission is that by perception, one of the dominant counsels of God in this season is the release of an accurate witness. A witness who is void of the other sources of inspiration, void of the other sources of expression. What I mean by a witness is not a man who tells a tale, but a man whose existence is an advertisement of an original in all of its entirety. 
That's who a witness is. This is because there are five possibilities of expression. You can express self. And as a drama minister, you can express self. That you are the source of your inspiration. And because the inspired thought pleases you, um, you can build a script around it. For example, if we... Uh, okay, I know Baba is a master scripter. Uh, he doesn't just act. If I say, Behold, I comment. In a room of teachers, there are verses of scripture that come to your mind. A script writer can turn that one line into a whole movie. Are you with me? The Lord wants me to leave you so that I stay on my stuff. Now, my emphasis was that God wants to produce a witness. So I said that you can be sponsored by self. One. Two, you can be sponsored by the world. And self and the world, they fall under the same faculty. But there are two distinct departments of operations that are counterproductive to what God is emphasizing in this season. Self, world. You can also function under the inspiration or the operations of the flesh. That's the scarred Adamic arrangement. Flesh is a neutral Adamic arrangement. I'm sorry, self. Flesh is a scarred Adamic arrangement. It means it bears all the fractures that became ours because Adam fell. So you have flesh, you have self, you have the world, then you have Satan. The average believer is not a specimen of Satan. The average believer who is a minister is most likely not a specimen of Satan but he still does business with the world so he draws inspiration from trends. He does business with himself which is his, his, his self manufactures depravity. And then he does from self things that are neutral. On the other faculty, you have only one essence and that is God. So you have five possibilities and I want to announce that these five possibilities are still open to the believer. The fact that you are saved does not mean that you don't look like the world. One of the things that broke my voice was that a precious minister that is my brother, he's younger anyway, he, he preached a sermon and they sent me the sermon. And I heard a statement that he made. And so I decided to start a fight yesterday night. That I will not be alive and see anybody who is close to me preaching error. We fight and I hope it finishes here. So when I started instructing yesterday, well, I was sharing scriptures and I saw that he was adamant, I now threatened him. Now this sharing is the simplest way to solve this problem. The next thing I'm going to do is that I won't call your name, but I will show you that truth is stronger than you. And I will pitch you on social media against scriptures. Maybe you'll pass the test. So this morning, both of us calmed down and we now sort it. It took us over two hours to arrive at one truth. I listened to the whole sermon, 45 minutes. It was balanced, sir, until the last three minutes. Three minutes. So he said, but it's a 45 minute sermon. I said, to win this argument for the Lord, I sat down yesterday night to listen to your 45 minutes. And I saw that your emphasis was right. But when I went on YouTube yesterday night and typed your name and typed the topic of the sermon, the only thing that came up was the error. That's what is trending. Mm. It means even as we minister, your script can begin in the spirit and it can end in the flesh. It can begin in the spirit and end in the world. It can begin in the spirit and end in Satan. It can begin in the spirit and end in self. So there is a labor to guide and the ministry of the Holy Spirit as a true witness is to ensure that what leaves ministry to the world is accurate. It's a burden that God has. However, it has been discovered that why 
that work is will be difficult is because you see our movements our interactions they leave us 